It's been called a scandal and a fiasco. For weeks, the British government struggled to increase its testing capacity for COVID-19. And then, at the beginning of April, this U-turn. I am now setting the goal of 100,000 tests per day by the end of this month. To do this, the UK has developed four super labs for testing. One of them is here in Cambridge. We have 154 people working on site um, from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. every day in shifts uh, with a lot of volunteers from the university, but also our staff and JSK staff. We've uh, been accredited. We've gone through the accreditation process with the NHS. So we are going to start testing this week and we are absolutely on track to deliver the 30,000 tests a day by, um, you know, second week of May. The company has also been working on an antibody test with Oxford University. This tells you whether you have already had the virus. It says the test has been validated and is 99% accurate. It now needs regulatory approval. We've actually started uh, testing our own employees, by the way, not with the main Cambridge uh, site, but a separate site dedicated to our employees. And actually it's working very well. Uh, thank God we actually were able to diagnose two of our employees that were infected. At the start of the outbreak, the only people who could get a test were suspected cases of COVID in hospital. Since then, it's been expanded to National Health Service workers and key workers. And from this week, anyone over the age of 65, people who work in care homes or residents, or anyone who has to leave their house for work can now get a COVID test. However, essential workers will need to show symptoms of the disease before they can be tested. But at Oxford University, they're working on a test kit that can give you the results within 30 minutes from home. It's a research project between China and the UK. And one of its lead scientists says it's the only way to get out of lockdown. Why we control people movement? Why people otherwise stay home? Because we don't know whether who is infectious. It's basically an experiment. But I'm a scientist. Experiments sometimes succeed, sometimes not. When it comes to COVID, the whole world is hoping and waiting for the science to succeed. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, London.